NBC News has learned that tensions boiled over on Capitol Hill during a closed-door meeting with Speaker Kevin McCarthy daring members of his own party to try and remove him. Yeah, two sources in the meeting told NBC News that McCarthy told House Republicans, as you can see on your screen, if you want to file a motion to vacate, then file the expletive motion. Here's what McCarthy had to say afterwards. I showed frustration in here because I am frustrated with the committee. I'm frustrated with some people in the conference. But when we come back, we're not going to leave. We're going to get this done. Nobody wins in a government shutdown. Nobody wins in a government shutdown. I've been here. I knew people would fight or try to hold leverage for other things. I'm going to continue to just to focus on what's the right thing to do for the American people. And you know what? If it takes a fight, I'll have a fight. It was an indirect response to some in the party who are threatening to force McCarthy out of the speakership if he doesn't comply with their demands, like not passing a stopgap bill to prevent a government shutdown later this month. NBC News congressional correspondent Julie Serkin joins us now. Julie, good morning. So we just heard some strong words from the speaker yesterday. As you know, we had to make a lot of deals. He had to make a lot of deals to get into the speaker's chair. So, so who in the party would be behind this motion to potentially remove him? And how is his support in the party holding up? Well, the one saving grace for Speaker McCarthy is the fact that there is really no one to replace him. And even those who want to oust him, they know that. So I was at that press conference yesterday when McCarthy told myself and others that he got frustrated. He got heated in this conference meeting that was supposed to be all about impeachment. Obviously, the spending fight played a big part there as well. And look, the biggest threats have been coming from Congressman Matt Gates, the representative, the Republican from Florida. He's part of the House Freedom Caucus. He's really one of those conservative members that, by the way, until the 11th hour, made McCarthy go to that 15th route to even get the gavel in the first place. So he's looking to oust McCarthy because he feels like McCarthy has not been honest with his part of the party when it comes to spending, when it comes to impeachment. Like I said, though, it seems like McCarthy's safe, at least for now, even though it seems like he has all these issues all at once with a very slim majority because there's no one really to replace him and no one the party would uh, coalesce around. So, Julie, lay out the support that he would need to survive a vacate vote. Would House Democrats have to come into play there? And then, secondly, this was a week not without some big news from this particular office, this impeachment inquiry against President Biden, which he announced earlier this week. Could that impact that support that he needs to survive? Certainly. It's certainly causing some bad blood on the Democratic side, especially with Hakeem Jeffries, the Democratic leader, who has kind of tried to work with McCarthy in the beginning. Obviously, McCarthy has about a four or five seat cushion, so he does need Democratic votes when it comes to pretty much anything that government that Congress has to pass, including government funding. When it comes to a motion to vacate, if Democrats don't support uh, the speaker during that moment, that means just a handful of some of the far right conservatives that aren't happy with McCarthy could actually oust him. And that's because of an agreement that he made to get in this place in the first place. Right. He made that deal with some of the far right uh, that only one member can sort of bring up this motion to vacate on the House floor. Again, though, it's not clear who would even replace McCarthy, but certainly, as Jeffrey said yesterday, the, the MAGA people, he said, hold a temporary gavel. They could be the ones to pass their own legislation or, in this case, keep their own speaker in the job. It's not clear why they'd help him, especially after that impeachment inquiry was launched against the president, which they find completely unfounded. So we're just over two weeks away from this funding deadline. What are the main sticking points right now? And where do Speaker McCarthy and House Republicans stand on actually resolving those issues? Well, it's pretty much everything. It's such a mess. I was out, outside the conference meeting yesterday. There are all kinds of ideas being thrown around. Remember, the government shuts down in 14 days from now, just about two weeks. Uh, and McCarthy has a lot of work to do. He said he's going to keep his members in starting next week. That means weekends, nights, just to figure this out. And there's really three paths forward to keep the government open. The first is they can pass all 12 appropriations bills. That's not going to happen in time. The second is a short-term government funding bill, sort of a stopgap measure that can go four, six weeks, a couple of months, not clear how long it would even go or whether there'd be enough support to pass it. Uh, and the third option here, of course, is to roll all of these measures into one bill known as an omnibus. That's a red line pretty much for all conservatives who are battling with McCarthy over spending levels because it would guarantee that the Democratic controlled Congress spending levels will be in effect. And that's one of the major sticking points here. Conservatives feel like the deal McCarthy made with President Biden back in May to avoid the debt ceiling crisis uh, is one made of bad blood. They don't want to be a part of it, and they think the spending levels should be much shorter. The other issue here, of course, is Ukraine aid, disaster aid. Will that be rolled into a short-term government funding bill? Mm. Only time will tell, but certainly we're getting very close down to the wire here. All right, Julie, thank you so much.
Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.